Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, I thought I might start a new game today, and as you can see, this one's called Aquaria. I bought this one a while back, but never had played it, so I don't know really what it's about or anything. Just judge it by the screenshots and everything, it looks sort of like the same vein as Castlevania and Metroid and all that. So hopefully it'll be just as interesting as those. Okay, let's get started and see what this one's like. The verse flows throughout Aquaria, through each ripple and wave, through every living being. The verse binds us all as one. The verse binds us, narrator and explorer. My story will become your own, and yours will become mine. You will live my life through my eyes, and you will learn the truth. Clueless. As far back as I can remember, I came to this place to think. This cave was my sanctuary. Here the verse was so focused that I could feel it humming in the stones around me. If I called out in song, the cave and its creatures would dance to my tune. If I had stayed there, I might have found peace. But eventually, loneliness and restlessness drove me away. I got control now. Yep. Go left mouse button or space to swim. Okay. okay. Alright, that's easy. Okay, we go left. Follow the fishy, I guess. Size map for right now. All right, the same. Same what? Rotten creature of some sort. Click to let go, click far away to jump. Hmm. Stick to anything? How do I get you to stick the first place? That is. Let's continue on. Godly. Whoa. 
When confronted with a dangerous situation, I was wise to use the full range of my physical abilities to avoid it. With a powerful thrust of my legs, my webbed feet would propel me forward, leaving my pursuers in my wake. So that's how you do it. You double click into a wall. Yep, okay. Now I got it. As I sang, I could feel the verse flowing through me. Certain songs stirred the verse deeply, causing changes in the surrounding waters. The first song I had discovered would wrap the verse around me, protecting me from environmental dangers. Orange, blue. Symbols. Oh. The power that lay within these crystals flowed to places beyond this world, and the memories of all who neared them were reflected in their depths. I chose to record my story within these crystals for the benefit of those who would journey beyond my life. So red crystals are save points, all right. Oh, what the heck? In all my memory, every day had been like every other. If she had not appeared before me in that moment, I might have stayed in those waters for the rest of my days, living as a simple creature. But I was compelled to follow. What the heck is this? strange form faded before my eyes. Perhaps I'd only dreamed her, but I was no longer the same. That vision. I'd lived as a feral creature, not thinking beyond the simplest desires. Until now. As if from a dream I awoke to the reality of my existence, to the fact that I was. Alone. I knew that this world was called Aquaria, and that my name was Naja. But I could recall nothing else. Was I the only one of my kind left? Was I destined to live out the rest of my days in solitude? My heart ached for answers. In time, I would discover far more than I'd wish to learn. Hmm. So I guess I'm back home. Hmm. 
straight up or down? Okay. Let's go straight across, see what's over there. Something glowing behind the rocks. Of I have no idea how to move it. I was enveloped by warm light as familiarity overwhelmed me. I had come home. Anything here? That's the bedroom, apparently. There were many strange ingredients to be found in the waters of Aquaria. By cooking them together with the verse, I could create new foods. Some of my recipes proved to be very useful. Oops. Hand rolls, healing, red bulbs. Try two or three, two or three ingredients. Press the cook button. Let's just see what happens. Save here. And we'll end this episode here and pick it up next episode. See you guys.